This is Ava Krivash with Russell Street Report, and welcome back to another episode of Ravens Rewind. The Baltimore Ravens playoff run sadly came to an end with a loss to the Buffalo Bills by the score of 17-3 in the divisional playoff round. This recent loss to the Bills will serve as great motivation for quarterback Lamar Jackson as he was not able to finish the game and get redemption for his pick six due to a concussion. During a season filled with uncertainty, the Baltimore Ravens certainly brought hope and excitement to Baltimore fans this season. Prior to entering playoffs, the Baltimore Ravens and the reigning MVP quarterback faced a lot of doubt from critics about their ability to compete in big games. But Lamar Jackson was able to silence these critics with his incredible play against the Tennessee Titans in the Wild Card Weekend, let alone set an NFL record for being the first quarterback to rush for more than 1,000 yards in two consecutive seasons. The incredible movie-like Ravens victory over the Browns has been labeled by many as the best game of the season and will be an unforgettable moment for many Ravens fans. This offseason will be a busy one for the Ravens and general manager Eric DaCosta. Some tough decisions will have to be made on some free agents such as Matt Judon, Tyus Bowser, and Willie Sneed. On Monday, DaCosta opted to move on from Mark Ingram, who was released by the Ravens. He was not only a hardworking, passionate player, but also someone who brought energy and high morale to the team. Ingram constantly showed immense support to Lamar Jackson and the rookie that eventually took his place. The Ravens' fight for their third Lombardi trophy will continue next season. This is Ava Krivash with Russell Street Report, and that was your Ravens Rewind.